Hello and welcome again to Upper Esk. <laughs> now this week we have had a lot less rain than we have had in the previous weeks, although we're forecast quite a lot in the coming days. But what we have had are some very, very cold and frosty days. There is snow already on the top of Ben Lomond, our nearest mountain, and we've had some nights here where it's got down to about minus four, so I've had to take good care of the herbs that I planted uh, last week. It's slightly restricted the tasks we've been able to do around the property, um, but at the moment I'm just about to remove this silver wattle tree. Uh, now this silver wattle is obviously a native, but it has planted itself right in the middle of a drainage culvert, which is going to be important the next time it floods, um, so I'm afraid it has to go, but fear not because there are thousands more around the property. So as you can see, after a few days of very low temperatures and frost and ice, we're back to torrential rain. And we've had about 24 hours of torrential rain um, now. And Paul and I have gone out onto the property this morning just to see how the water's draining. And what we've discovered is that, as well as the river, um, we're also contending with eight culverts uh, on the road that runs past the property that the council obviously put in some time ago, and which essentially now just flush water um, onto our land, which then sits there. Um, now Karen has already had some drainage ditches and channels put in but we're thinking what we might need to do is consolidate them into one large deep channel that drains all of that water into the river at the far end of the property. Um, so we're going to continue to have a bit of a look and see what other horrors we discover. <laughs> <laughs> 